What is love bombing? Love bombing is somebody meeting you, putting you on a pedestal and giving you everything you have ever looked for. All the attention, the love, the kind words, making you feel like you are their soulmate. And in a grand way, with grand gestures or any way that you truly need it to get you hooked and get you to commit to a relationship as quickly as possible. Every abusive relationship has some sort of love bombing stage. This is how they keep you around and keep you from walking away. So to understand it, you have to understand a little bit about the cycle of abuse. The cycle of abuse has this honeymoon stage where everything is good or in intense situations like in relationships with a narcissist, this is what we call the love bombing stage where everything is amazing and this person is showing you their best colors. And then it goes to tension building. So something happens to make you feel upset or sad and the tension is building until you reach the fight stage, the blow up or the abusive incident. And that's the worst part of that abusive cycle, right? This is where people may be calling you names or hurting you or gaslighting you. And then when you decide that maybe you're walking away or you can't do it anymore, then it goes back up to the reconciliation stage. This is where they apologize. They do grand gestures. They're promising that things are going to change and it sends you right back up to the love bombing or honeymooning stage. So because of the reconciliation stage and the love bombing stage, that is what keeps you there because finally you're thinking, okay, this time it's going to be different. It's going to change. Let me give it one more chance. Very similar to addiction because the love bombing stage is so intense that it causes this rush of hormones into our bodies that make us feel like the person's actually going to change this time and that we're actually going to get what we've finally been looking for. So it makes it really impossible to leave. So now that we've talked a little bit about that, I want to talk to you about the signs that you need to look out for to see if somebody is love bombing you at the beginning of a relationship. The first thing I want to say about this is that love bombing is relative. What that means is there's no one size fits all in what is considered love bombing and what is not. Because people that use love bombing to try to manipulate you are really good at reading you. They're good at reading between the lines, seeing what you need, or they're listening really closely for the things that you're telling them you need so that they can mirror you and give you all of it to get you to feel like finally someone is here to give me everything I need. I cannot believe I finally found my person. Some of the common signs signs that they use is that they make grand gestures to show you that they love you. They might do all of your laundry, clean your house, pick up your kids from school, take you to work, cook for you, anything you can think of that is very romantic and over the top to get you to really feel like you're the luckiest person on this planet. They might want to spend all of their time with you. This might appeal to you because maybe in your previous relationships, you haven't had that. You haven't had someone that wants to spend that much time with you. And so it feels really good. They might even insist to get into a serious relationship early on or to move in right away because they've suddenly fallen so madly in love with you. They might make soulmate claims and tell you you're the best person that they've ever met and you're everything they've ever been looking for and where have you been their entire life. If you've been in this cycle of abuse for a long time, they might use the twin flames claim to tell you that the reason they behaved the way they did is because you guys are twin flames and they use that as a sort of justification before entering the love bombing stage again. So why is love bombing so dangerous? Love bombing causes a rush of hormones to go through your body. It feels really good to be wanted, to be loved, to have people do something that is so kind and meaningful and thoughtful for us, especially if that person is someone you have romantic feelings for. In your mind, this is what you have been looking for your entire life. This person gets you and they do everything that you need. And it's dangerous because it's not real. It's not possible to maintain all of this level of love bombing and support and doing everything for you. So eventually it will go away, which is usually followed by a period of gaslighting. When you try to tell them that things have changed, that you've noticed a difference, they might tell you that you don't know what you're talking about and that you're making things up. Being in love and truly loving a person requires time and getting to know the person. Otherwise, it's just infatuation. So what are they falling in love with if not you? Well, they fall in love with the idea of you, an idealized version that is impossible to live up to. So once their hormones settle down and they start to lose that infatuation feeling, then you might do something or say something. That's not even a problem, but in their eyes, that takes you off that pedestal and they move into that devaluing stage. 
They stop all of their loving behaviors, which leaves you so confused, so hurt and attached and unable to leave. So one of the biggest questions that I get from people entering new relationships is how do I know if this is love bombing or if it's genuine? I wanna start by saying that this is really hard to say because it really depends on how you're feeling, what your needs are, and the other person. We all want it to be genuine, but really the only way to know is to move slow. Again, it's so impossible to maintain this level of attention and love and grand gestures for an extended period of time. So the slower that you can move in the relationship, the better it's going to be for you. Even if you're somebody that's been looking to be in a committed relationship really quickly, you really wanna just settle down, you might find it really appealing for somebody to come in and say, let's commit right away. And it's one of the hardest things to tell you to slow that down but this is really important. Set those boundaries for yourself and for the other person based on your comfort level and see how they respond. People that genuinely care and want to be in a committed relationship with you are going to respect your boundaries that you set for yourself and for them, even if they might struggle with it a little bit. Another thing that you can do is ask yourself, does this sound like it's too good to be true? Because if it does, it probably is. Another question that I always get is, are all love bombers narcissistic or will all narcissistic people love bomb? The answer to that is no, not all love bombers are narcissistic. And yes, most narcissists or all narcissists will love bomb. For the narcissist, love bombing is part of the cycle of abuse. They need to get you to fall in love very quickly and to become attached very quickly. It is actually threatening to them to know that you're not head over heels for them because they cannot control you as easily. The quicker that you fall in love with them, the better it is for them and their ability to control you. So no, not all love bombers or all grand gestures at the beginning of a relationship mean that the person is narcissistic. There are a lot of people that might just mirror what you do or really want to spend every moment with you or pick up on your hobbies because they also want a committed relationship. And maybe they're anxiously attached and have difficulty with separation once your date is over. So they do want to spend a lot of time with you. But typically, you can tell the difference by being able to have a conversation about boundaries and space and Typically, the person that is not narcissistic will take that. Maybe they'll be a little bit hurt, maybe a little bit sad, but they'll take that pretty gently and they will usually respect your boundaries. Whereas a narcissistic person may take big offense to that. They may lash out and they will feel that as a huge threat to their ego. So here are some tips to help you if you feel like you might be getting love bombed or to just be able to be more aware in the future in the event you might find a love bomber in your life. So number one, set boundaries right off the bat. If those boundaries are not taken well, that is a red flag, you probably should get out. If those boundaries are respected, then take precaution, move slow, talk about the speed of the relationship, and I would say that that's pretty safe to move forward. Tip number two, maintain your life. Don't give up parts of yourself because that will make it super easy for them to control you. A lot of people get really sucked in at the beginning of a relationship, wanting to spend so much time with the other person. It feels really good, but I would say please maintain aspects of your life, maintain your own hobbies, your work, your schedule as much as possible. This will make it much harder for somebody who's trying to gain control of you to do so. Number three, share information with your friends and family about how the relationship is going. People that are close to you are usually really good at picking up when something seems a little bit off or phony and they don't have all those hormones running through their bodies that you do that make it really difficult to pick up on toxic behaviors. So sharing things with friends and family may make it easier for them to tell you if they see any red flags with how things are going or how quickly the relationship is moving. And finally, your goal is to be true to yourself and to communicate what you want and what you need. Your goal is not to walk on eggshells to see if this will work. It's not to change what you want or to be the ideal person for them because everything you do will inform your decision. Every time you can be honest with them and tell them what you want, every time you continue to live true to yourself by maintaining your hobbies and your friendships and outside relationships, the more information you will get based on how that person is behaving. Additionally, everything they do, meaning how they respond to your boundaries, how they respond to you maintaining your life and friendships, will also inform your decisions. It's really hard to push away love bombing because it feels so nice. It's so 
easy to lose yourself when somebody is really giving you everything you've ever been looking for right off the bat, which is why everyone is susceptible to being love bombed and entering into a toxic relationship. So the more that you can maintain your feet grounded, try to have conversations with both your mind and your heart. Don't just let your heart fly away, which is so common. Really sit down and ground yourself. Talk to people. Be honest. Ask questions. And Remember that healthy relationships are built over time. The person needs to get to know you and you have to get to know the other person. It is impossible to really know the true colors of a person in a few months. So take it slowly. Get to know them for a season. Get to know them for multiple seasons before you give all your cards away and let them know what you're looking for. I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what have been some of the ways you've been love bombed in the past. Are there any grand gestures that happened to you or did you get the subtle forms of love bombing where somebody just shows up in the way you want them to, but it wasn't this big thing you can put your finger on. Let's have a conversation below and let me know if you have additional questions and as always, I'll see you in the next video.